Uh, good evening and welcome for another week of EU2. Uh, today we're at Monza for race 4 of the season, I think it is. Uh, and I have uh, the wizard as my co-commentator with me. Good evening. Hello! <laughs> the Cathedral of Spade. Monza. Yeah. Um, Lovely to be here, deputising for uh, Mr. Steve. He's obviously not allowed yeah. to do commentary around Monza because he's a Mercedes man, so we need a, a strong, passionate Tifosi in the yeah. commentary box. Yeah, right. That's, uh, yeah. Sounds valid. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, not really much happening yet. Just put cutting a corner. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's on his outlap, so as long as he doesn't do that on his flying lap, we're all good. He will be the first one to start That's a lap, though. To be fair, it's such a lovely uh, race track. It's just nice to watch cars drive around it. Yeah, Especially definitely. Yeah, true. It's. I mean, it's a lovely track to drive too, but it's uh, very. Let me say, annoying the curbs on this game. Yeah, they can be. I mean. Uh, Especially at the Della Rogia, the second chicane, they can yeah. be lethal on this game. They can send you to Mars if you're not careful. Yeah, that's uh, that's very true. But Ascari ain't uh, Ascari ain't too uh, forgiving either. Very true. We should see, especially in qualifying. I think in qualifying we'll see more people dropping yeah. at Ascari than we do in the uh, in the race. Yeah, I think so too. I think we're gonna see a couple of safety cars today too, based on uh, the previous races. And the uh, curbs on the track. Definitely. We managed to avoid a safety car in EU3 yesterday, though. We had two VSEs, but no uh, full core safety car. But EU3 again showing themselves to be very oh. good boys. Yeah, that's uh, that's not too bad. Keeps the keeps the race going, though. We had, uh, what was it, two or three safety cars in EU4 on Monday. Pretty. Honestly, I got lucky because if we didn't have the third one, I would probably have no points. So now I do. <laughs> As we do have Spud almost like being done with his lap, he's coming up to a uh, to a Scari right now. Takes it. Throws it into a Scari, takes a lot of curb, is a bit more respectful on the exit though. Yeah, definitely. Uh, didn't spin though, so that's good. Hasn't invalidated either, so this should be a good lap. This will be the time to beat for now. As he comes around the final corner, gets up to the line as there's a yellow flag in the Skari, I see. Uh, sets a 19.4. I do think that will be beaten. Yeah, there we go, 19.4. And gets a 19 flat. I think it was uh, an Alfa Romeo going slowly through Ascari. Um, yeah. Uh, looks was it the Red yeah. Bull? No, it looks to be the uh, the Alfa Romeo of Bosman. If I looked at the minimap, it was an Alfa Romeo uh, either standing still there or just slow through there. Hmm. That's, uh, As he starts his lap now, goes through the... Uh, and now he's going to speed on down to the Curva Grande. As we keeps a nice tight inside line. As Arbor didn't finish his lap. Uh, we're looking at Rosa, I suppose. Through the Della Rogier, cutting the first chicane, first part, but being respectful of the curb on the second apex. Runs quite wide through Lesmo 1, as wide as possible. Tap the curb, power on as quickly as possible. Out of Lesmo 2 as you go down under the old track and head up to a very empty Ascari. Named after the tragic death of Alberto Ascari, who is the uh, 1950s world champion. Straight up towards the Parabolica. As we have a Haas disqualified for. Apparently driving in the wrong direction. In the wrong way somewhere near the pit lane, maybe he spun and couldn't get back uh, going. Seems to be at the first Lesbo, she uh, seems to be at the first Lesbo that he uh, did that. So maybe he maybe he spun in the second chicane and uh, drove, 
drove backwards there. Could have been. It can be quite unforgiving, especially in qualifying with the uh, yeah, definitely as ever. Yeah, as everyone's trying to push the absolute limit to get the fastest lap uh, to start the highest up in, on the grid, which is pretty uh, understandable, though. As we have Jamie taking the new pole with uh, 118.8. As we're gonna see the Williams of Dan Robo probably pull into the pit since he has set the time already. Done two laps on his mediums. Trying to get his eye in. Yep, there he goes. And if Postman follows him in, I think Rosa will do the exact same. Yes, he does. Uh, we have an Alpine coming up there. I think that's Wisey Boy. It appears to be so. There we go, takes the final corner, the long right hander. Crosses the line to go 10th fastest with a 120.8. As we have Ben Ratcliffe, uh, will be the next one over the line to actually settle up. There he comes around the corner and rounds off his lap on the softs in P. Nowhere apparently. So I think uh, Spud's always been quite good around this track something about him so I've, uh, keep an eye on him especially in the race he's usually quite sensible in the race uh, yeah he hasn't uh, he hasn't had the best of, uh, the best of luck uh, on these previous races retired in Azerbaijan retired in uh, at France I don't know what happened at Australia but uh, he'll keep committed though he's, uh, he's a yeah he's, uh, definitely got good potential I uh, I uh, I've been his teammate for one season. Uh, it was pretty it was pretty good. We had some fun. <laughs> and Arbar goes third fastest with a 19.4. He's been doing pretty well reserving in EU2 as a as the American driver. Obviously yeah, not the only one. Very smooth driver. Yeah. Not jinxed him. He's probably loving the little wave there, getting a mention there. <laughs> I probably can hear us if he has the stream open. I, uh, <laughs> I personally don't do that, having the stream open. I tried it once and uh, literally I couldn't concentrate on the race and crashed. But some people do have it open, which I do uh, understand if you want to hear what we're saying. But I can't do it. But just set a lap on the softs and he's now going out on the mediums for another one. Is he is he trying to set a better lap on the mediums? Maybe start on them or? Um, I don't know. He might be trying to get a balance in. As yellow flag at Lesmo one. Don't know why that was thrown. Everything mm. seems fine. Uh, maybe the. Maybe an Alpine. Yeah, maybe an Alpine or a Williams there. I'm not too sure. As Bud has started his lap. Going, Spud currently is purple in sector one with his fast lap on the softs. Yeah, as he actually uh, just missed the uh, turn one a bit, he I think he lost the back end because he slammed on the brakes after hitting the corner. So he's already six times down on himself. I imagine this is a reconnaissance lap for him. Uh, 
just to see how the softs feel. Uh, mediums feel, sorry. Um, Dan Robbo with a great lap up into P3. So fastest in sector one at the moment is Spud, fastest in sector two is JSAC, and fastest in sector three is Jamie. So uh, sector three comprised is really of Ascari and Parabolica, so. Yeah. Spud only lost a tenth in the middle sector. He looks to have been a bit more aggressive for Ascari there. I wonder if he's got enough DRS to pull off two laps on him. So we have yellow flags at the first Lisbo again. Uh, who is it? it? I think it was an Alpine. I just don't know. It might have been Racer? No? Probably YZ Boy then. He's going pretty slow. Okay, it's only his outlaps, uh, but. Um, who's gonna come over the line? Matty Robo is. Goes 8th fastest with a 19.6. Oh, Dan Robbo's gone for a double hot lap. He's up on himself uh, by a tenth and a half in the first sector, by a little bit in the second sector. So he's two tenths up on himself at the moment, which would move him into P3 ahead of Rosa if he's got enough ERS to finish the lap. There's a yellow flag for the Parabolica, but he powers on for it, but he boxes. He up on himself. There's, uh, there's yellow flags uh, at a lot of spaces on the track. Oh, Boschman sets the new fastest lap in the Alfa Romeo. Uh, Connell's going green as well on his laps. He's a couple of tenths up. That's enough to move him into the sort of top five category if he finishes the lap well. But uh, we're in this pretty. There's there's a little train forming in qualifying. I don't think that's uh, that's that's good in qualifying to have people um, so close together. Especially with Jamie the dirty air. No, but as he just gets it all come wrong. Across, uh, a back marker there. Was that, is that a Haas? Uh, so no, it's a Mercedes. I think that's a Mercedes of Tiago. Just having a look there on Tass to see if there's any penalties of people that are coming a cropper. Um, as Jay Prentice might finally set a lap. Is this one going to count? Yes, it is. Goes 11 fastest with a Is Jonas finally going to settle up? Is he going to keep up his dominance? No, apparently does not settle up. Maybe uh, was his outlap didn't show on the telemetry. He takes the first couple of corners. Oh, is there loses loses the back end of turn two? Uh, would. Last week uh, we got word that his pedals were uh, broken or there was something wrong with his pedals. Could he have the same this week? Because I don't think I've seen anyone spin at turn 2. Uh, McLaren's uh, apprentice might have got it wrong coming out of uh, the scar. I just think it's very sensitive to yellow flags here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I've seen some yellow flags popping up on track while, while there's no car there on the minimap, so it might just be people who crashed there or people who went slower than the yellow flags just stayed for some reason. I don't know why. Could well be. Let's have a look at the... Uh, Tiago just coming back on track from being off track at Ascari. You're not going off track at Ascari. Not, does not get invalidated. Look at the chat as soon as Kevin Bacon stops talking about EA. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In the chat room, if you've got anything you want to bring to our attention, do let us know. Um, how's everyone feeling about the uh, sad, sad news today of Kimi Raikkonen retiring? Yeah, pretty, season. pretty sad news. It's uh. We saw it coming, but uh, yeah. it's still going to be sad not to have the Iceman on the grid. Definitely, it was always uh, always uh, pretty funny and uh, probably going to miss him, but 
he's old, so we saw it coming. Well, surprisingly, for someone who does Formula One as a as a hobby, so he says, yeah. he's one of the most successful drivers of all time when you look at his stats. Um, I think the I. 2007 World Championship. I think I remember him saying once that he was going to um, keep racing for as long as he could, but maybe I am a little change his mind. He doesn't, or he doesn't want to play with the new cars. True. I would have stayed at least for one more season, maybe, to see the new cars. Ah, oh, you can see them on the you can see them on the television. You just can't drive them. <laughs> he can stay at home on Instagram and post yeah. on the television. I yeah. do hope or he, he can, keeps posting on Instagram. Or he can go to the track and see them live in action, but he probably can't drive them. <laughs> As uh, I think qualifying is coming to the e uh, to an end because. He, Everyone's out on track by the looks of it, as Rosa just took away the pole position from Boseman with a 188. I'm interested to watch the McLarens who just came out the pit lane together. Yeah, they're pretty. there's a lot of drivers pretty close together. I don't think that's necessarily good to be honest. Oh, as Meza gets it all wrong into Ascari and loses his tire. Uh, We're just on board with him as he does that. So I Is think that the exit of Ascari was that. Oh yes, oh dear. Oh. Car there. I'm looking for There we go. Because we have Boseman starting a flying lap. Is he gonna kick Rosa off that pole position and take it back or will he not do that? A one eighteen eight, I think that's beatable. Ali Robbo starts his fast lap, he's switched from the medium compound tyre to the soft compound tyre. He goes into the Metafilia chicane, turn one, he gets that fantastically well. Powers out, keeps to the oh, inside. Someone just went wide Vader. there, I think that's Wash Yorno. A bit wide, no, he keeps straight to the right hand side. The Ferrari on the inside gets well out of the way, brakes. For the Della Rogier chicane, avoids the curve on the inside, powers himself down to Lesmo 1. Does he get a good line through here? Nice, solid line on the power okay. early through the mid corner. Around Lesmo 2 again, power on through the mid corner, a bit tentative, plays the DRS wide open, dips down on the inside under the old track, up to Ascari. How respectful is he going to be here? He dives in late, how much curb is he going to use? He avoids the curb on second and third apex. Runs wide and invalidates. I think he's just run wide and invalidated. Absolute shame. I think it wasn't good for a good one. It sounded like a good one with your commentary on it. <laughs> I think uh, Prentice is now coming up behind his teammate. Is his teammate going to give him a drag up to the Parabolica? As Prentice gets it a little bit wide for Ascari. Maybe he is. And Jamie gets him a drag, that's good. Teamwork there for McLaren. Yes, is definitely. it going to help Prentice jump into the top 10 as he dives into Parabolica? Jamie already in P3, so no need to improve that Parabolica. much. Oh, Goes into the pits, wow. Uh, maybe he wasn't up on himself, obviously he has more delta than we do. Uh, Bama's going slowly through... Ascari, Dan Robbo up to fourth. Um, we've only got Yorno to set a time as he comes up to Lesmo two, uh, Lesmo one, sorry. Um, again, what I liked about Maddy Robbo's lap, though, it was very early on the power through the Lesmos, which uh, bodes well. Um, uh, race. I do the same. I also go very early on the power, but I pre I pretty much do that everywhere. That's maybe why I. That's maybe the reason why I spin so much on this game. <laughs> it is very unforgiving at times. I think we've got our grid settled there. Yorno's not going to complete the lap, so we have Rosa on pole. Uh, Boastman in second. Interestingly, with our TAS penalties, with the wrong driver nationality and combo again, Boastman is facing a 10-second penalty to add to his race time. After his race today or next week race, yeah, if he doesn't uh, change today, it. Today, today's today. race. So, um, so he's if gonna... he doesn't finish, it will turn into a qualifying ban. But uh, he's got a lot to make up. 
Uh, Jamie in third for McLaren. Fourth is Dan Robbo in the lead, Williams. Uh, Jay sat for the lead, Ferrari. Spud in sixth. He could be interesting in the race. Uh, I think the lobby might be bugged again, just like Monday. Maybe because Yorno did come over the finish line, but it hasn't actually finished the qualifying. Is he coming to the pit lane? No, he's just going into Della Rocha now, right now. Looks to be going good right now, but when he gets behind traffic, he looks like an AI, so it's pretty hard to make up what's actually happening right here. Okay, now he doesn't just go for the overtake. Maybe. Maddie Robbo, interestingly, is going to start in the top 10 on medium tyres, which is a, a very good turner. It's uh, definitely He's not bad. He's also facing a 10 second penalty though, so that could be uh, interesting for him. Well, you know, I call him I call him Mr. By the Book, but I was very surprised when he uh, when I saw his name on the list for the um, for the telemetry infringements. Is this is two weeks in a row that I've got him down as uh, using the default avatar world flag and car number two so we'll have to find out what's going on there yeah i did um, that too at race one because that was pretty usually last year's game was just the number and flag you chose in your career mode was automatically set to uh, uh multiplayer yeah, now two you've but got to create your yeah, own avatar for now online you've got, don't you yes now you've got to create your uh now you've got to do your career mode and your multiplayer separately um Jorno just crossed the line again and the timer is stuck on one, so maybe he has to leave the lobby. I think that's what's going on here. Thibaut had the same thing on Monday. From the session as well, that might uh, yeah, that might, or I don't know, because is he still driving himself? He might. It's either he has to retire or he has to leave. It's one of the two. I don't know which one's gonna work. We had Thibaut leave on Monday. He just left the lobby and then I think he, I think he joined back. Ah, there we go. He left the session. And that's the end of qualifying. If we can't get him back in, I mean, I've got an image of the qualifying in case we need to set up a grid yeah. uh, manually. That, it wasn't. So don't worry about that. It wasn't needed on Monday, but maybe it is today. You never know. As uh, I'll run you down the grid, we have Rosa on pole with 118.8, then Boseman in second, and Jamie 1S in third, Dan Robo fourth, Jasak fifth, Spud sixth, seventh for Bama. Arbar in 8th, Connell 9th, Matt e. Robo in 10th, Ben Ratcliffe in 11th, Jay Prent is 12th, Thiago in 13th, Yorno 14th, Racer 15th, 16th, YZ Boy 17th, Mozai in 18th, Vapor King who didn't set a time and get disqualified. I expect all those drivers at the back to have an interesting race as they come through the field, they're all incredibly quick guys. Yeah, I mean, the fields are pretty close together. Well, I haven't seen uh, the other races. I've only seen EU2 and EU4, but both both tiers are pretty close together. It's not that bad. Or at least the top is close together, and then you get the bottom half. That's also close together, but <laughs> there's a little bit of time in between both the top half and the bottom half of the grid. Absolutely. Um, so as we look at the beautiful pit lane in Monza. Yeah, um, waiting for everyone to get their the chat? setup changes and their strategy calls right. And then we can start a formation lap. Definitely. So in the chat with the Raikkonen retiring, if anyone wants to give out their favourite uh, Kimi Raikkonen moment. Or quote. It might be one of the more recent sort of meme related stuff or it could be on track action. <laughs> from earlier in his career um, there's certainly a lot of moments definitely everything everything goes just no swearing I guess yeah and if it is we're not going to repeat it yeah also. nope as I did actually do that uh, at my first commentary in Azerbaijan because <laughs> It's no, easier, easily done. Yeah, but no one, actually, I'm going to be honest with you, no one told me it wasn't allowed. So I just did it, and then I have P2 
pure blades. <laughs> uh, I, I, I have pure blades coming in the chat saying, Oi, Shane, no swearing. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Well, actually, like, Steve was reading the chat because I can't do that, but Steve said, uh, Steve said that Blades, uh, told me not to swear, so I was like, yeah, okay, I'll stop swearing from now, and now Kitten has made, uh, Shane's swear jar a thing in the Discord, or at least it is in the McLaren chat. Oh, what a grid. I love big grids, I mean... A race with a small grid, it's not really as enjoyable for me when I'm driving myself. Um, no, it gives a lot of possibilities and it's a long true. run down into turn one. As uh, Rosa already loses the back end on the formation lap. <laughs> Maybe he's just trying to warm up the tyres. Yeah, that's also a possibility. <laughs> let's, uh, let's put it at that. Okay, that was uh, all calculated. Yeah, not really much to say on this formation lab, but you told me you had some Ra you had some Kimi Raikkonen stats because of his uh, oh, we do have some because Kimi stats. of his um, his announcement today. So why don't you go ahead and get us uh, hit us with a, a few of them? So we've got uh, 341 Grand Prix and counting. That's a record. No one's ever had as many races as him. He'll get over 350 before he uh, hangs his helmet up. If we're lucky, he's won uh, 21 races, which is not bad going. Uh, he's one of only five drivers to get 100 plus podiums, which is a fair record. The only people with more podiums than, uh, than Kimi are Atlan Prost, Sebastian Vettel, Michael Schumacher and Lewis Hamilton. So that's a good company to be in. Um, he's had 46 fastest laps in his career, only Lewis and... Michael have had more fastest laps in their career than Kimi. Kimi's also got oh, the goal. Rosa, I, yeah, that's I don't, Larry out of Parabolica. I don't think that's calculated, to be honest. No, that's not warming up the tyres, unless he wants them to be dead hot. True. Wow. Maybe maybe that's what he wants, <laughs> because uh, he maybe he doesn't want them to all cool down. The uh, maybe he doesn't want them to cool down on the grid waiting for all the other people. Very could true. Be, could Suddenly be. he's in the mid-pack instead of at the front. <laughs> yeah, he'll get to the front again, no problem. Just ghosting through everyone else, yep. Here we go. So, yeah, like I said, Kimi Raikkonen, the only man to get 10 fastest laps in the season twice. Michael Schumacher did it once. So, he's good for a single lap, is Kimi, in a race. Okay, we... I want my camera angle. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There we go. That's there. Right on the oh. Nope. Engines are revving, and there we go. We're off Power at Monza. Into turn one. Oh, Yono's not got away. He's not back in his car, but at the front. As you have Bozeman yeah, diving up the Bozeman. inside of Rosa. Rosa gets the inside of turn two, but doesn't get the place back. Is Yono stuck on the grid? Though. Yeah, Yono hasn't got away. Uh, well, Rosa's chasing he... through Curva Grande. He can go for a move into... You see a lot of people going side by side there, and people are actually fighting for position. Um, a great double move by Cole around the exit of the Della Rogier. He got past Bama and Arbar in one go. Yorno uh, didn't get back in his car, and we got a virtual safety car as his car. Yeah, he got a. He literally got a 10 second penalty for cutting the corner at turn 1 and 2 and then retires instantly after. That was a pretty unnecessary VSC, but... He's ready. Electric Blade's favourite moment, which I imagine Kimi's only got his last win for Trinari, it was the 2018 US Grand Prix. He had to fight for that, didn't he? Oh, Jamie's got a uh, drive-through penalty for speeding, speeding under the Speeding under the pit lane. Uh, uh, yeah, under the four. As he's going, he's going to serve it instantly his, right now. Definitely. Yeah. Probably the best thing to do. Yeah. Lose time. I would have put in same, but he might. Is he going to get. As there's a lot of no. people following him in the pits. Uh, yeah, he's he just serving the drive through. 
Oh, there's a. He's done quite well there. He'll have a lot of space to drive into. Um, he yeah, definitely. He's going to run the risk of there being a safety car. A lot of clean air. able to serve his drive through, so he's got a lot of clean air. We'll see how he recovers from there. He had some pace qualifying there with the driving angry engine. Definitely. Um, people who beat it, do they want to. Do the people who beat it want to get off the softs, or do they just. Or did they all have damage because of the VSC that came so unexpectedly? Because they they they're out already. I don't think they did some wing changes or they must have been uh, really fast. Uh, we have Musa right on the back of Vapor King here going through Ascari on the softer compound. Which don't actually stay for long. Um, I'm curious to see how long these guys can stretch, uh, stretch their tires because Arbar's pretty good at stretching them. He dove, what is it, 18 laps on the mediums out of France last week? As we have Meza looking to overtake Vapor King here on the straight. Does it on the softer compound? He hasn't gotten him yet. They're going side by side into turn one into the braking zone, Musa gets him and yeah that's that wasn't going to be too hard, he has much more grip on those softs. Gap between first and second staying pretty close together, about half a second. As we're going through the Lesbos right now. There we go. Gap is staying about the same as the DRS has been Activated or not? Okay. Uh, DRS will be activated on lap three, so they will get it down to a scary. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the the DRS thing popped up for me. It, like it was going, and then when he crossed the line, it just disappeared, and the rear wing didn't open. So, and it says lap three on my telemetry. So probably we have that thing again. As we have someone. Crash that that's Matty Robo at the Ascari. He has no front wing left. And that's another VSC. That's a lot of mess. Another VSC which could save his blushes a bit in the pit lane. Oh, I think uh, Jamie Wan has got an illegal overtake. Yeah, Jamie might have overtaken Matt with Yeah, as Matt he just like Yeah, as he came right back on track as Jamie passed him, so maybe the game thought. Box for a new Jamie. wing. We'll be back in the point after his drive through. We've got to go to hard tires. Soft tires, Matty Robert. So we know he's going to be boxing again. So obviously Definitely. he was on the mediums at the start. Can you make it with? And with one set of softs from here and then another set of softs somewhere else in the race, I don't think... Yeah, 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 you can do two sets of softs, that would work. From lap four, two softs sets can, of softs work? Yeah, the softs can definitely do half the race each, you could do that. I mean, the yeah. fastest way of doing this race would be two soft stints, to be fair. So, so you can definitely do that, you can definitely do that from lap four. So the people who pitted on the softs on the first VSC... Uh, actually, I think the only softs on track right now are the people who started on softs, but if you were to pit on softs during the VSC on lap 1, and you made another stop somewhere else in the race to pit for another set of softs, you could have made it to the end. The other McLaren gets a drive through penalty. I mean, we're already 50 seconds separating the leader and last place. We've got a massive field spread. Already yeah. As, uh, Matty Robbo lines up. Tigra on the back straight as he makes his way back through the field. Um, front two have made an absolute getaway. Dan Robbo is a bit ahead of Spud, who's being stalked by the Ferrari of JSAC. Spud in P4. You were right about Spud on this track. He does, uh, he does pretty good at over here. Uh. So what battles can we look at? I think the closest battle we have is the one for P1. By the looks of it, no, we have uh, Matty Robo. No, that's Prentice going into the pits. We have Matty Robo on the softs who got past Thiago, but he's just gonna build his gap. 
and look to overtake the next person. As we have the top two, the leaders coming into the last corner right now. There we go. But pretty close on the back of Jesak. He has uh, been closing in. Maybe Jesak got a, ba a bad exit out of Ascari because five tenths. It wasn't that close before that. Spud, DRS, ERS and goes for it, down the inside, will he get it, yes he does, Jaysak stays in the inside, doesn't get it. Very respectful driving there as the McLaren of Prentice has gone at the exit of And that's a safety day. car. We have our first safety car of the race, this is gonna bunch up the field again, so our field spread is gone. Everyone back in the race. It's not what Boschman would have wanted there with his 10 second penalty. Uh, for That's definitely uh, true. So, could have very easily held a P2 at the pace they were going, even with a 10 second penalty. And so, yeah, just to confirm everyone in the chat from TAS penalty infringements, both Boschman, who is our race leader, and Matty Robbo's in P13 at the moment have a 10 second time penalty to add on to their race time which should they finish it would be a qualifying bow where they're from their next event where they're not to finish today. So that's something to watch out for when you're looking for the results. Um, yeah, I think we're doing... pits, I think all the leaders are going to be pitting under this Yeah, safety pretty car. much. Five lap old softs, I think. Uh, safety car, this is uh, the pretty good time to pit. Unless you have, your... have to stack, but yes, it should be too that's much uh... time because he was a good five seconds behind his teammate. So he'll lose a little bit of time, but the other Red Bull should have left the box by the time he gets there. Then it'll reset and he can get going. This game is a much better at stacking than the previous games. It's not realistic because they would be better than that at stacking, but uh, he has not lost too a couple of positions. He then went from P4 he's lost out to P7, seven, I think it is. Yeah, he's lost out to Jacek and Bama and Dan Robo by the looks of it. He's lost out to two people. But I think Dan Robo was ahead of Spud already. Uh no um, Spud was in P four. Uh yeah no maybe so, oh yeah, YZ boy on his uh, mediums, he didn't pit, he started on the mediums, so he's still on them, he's now in P1, so that's why he was in 4th, but Dan Robo was in 3rd, so yeah. He only got jumped by Jaysak and Bama, if you're looking at that. Vapor King in P9 has decided on the heart. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know, the mediums Jamie could maybe make it to the end. Now. Jamie can catch up now after his drive through. Watch out for Jamie in the remaining McLaren because he was good on pace. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go for McLaren. Give us some more points <laughs> for the overall constructors. That will McLaren be have, uh, definitely <laughs> Team McLaren here. We, uh, I've been supporting my boys at McLaren every race here in EU2, but um, the last few races weren't always as great. Jamie Wanes getting pole on at France, but couldn't seem to make anything out of it. So not is unfortunate. familiar territory for Wisey Boy here, then he leads the Grand Prix. So yeah. Uh, take us for a safety car restart next time by, I imagine. Uh, should be next time. I think they're all going full throttle everywhere they can to catch up to the safety car. You could maybe stall and make us do another lap of safety car, but why would you do that? Because that's another lap you have to drive after behind the safety car, so... Definitely. I mean, unless people have gone for crazy low fuel like the Alphas yesterday in EU3, yeah. uh, everyone should be able to uh, have enough fuel to finish the race now. Let's just have a look. Is there anyone yeah. still critical on fuel? And I've got no red flashy lights. Everyone's got enough fuel for the end. Clearly they saw uh, Stumpy and Tinch yesterday and were like, oh, I don't want that in my life. I'm just wondering how, uh, maybe they can tell us in the chat if they either Stumpy or Tinch are watching, how underfueled were you at the start of the race? Because at Monza you gain nearly an entire lap of fuel just from driving. 
Um, so you to be a, like nearly a lap under, you must have started like two laps under fuel. Do let us know. Oh, as we have someone crashing under the safety car, that's Dan Bobo oh at the Dalla Rogier. What, how did he do that? Under safety car conditions? Know. There was no contact and he's done a George Russell. Yeah. Because if there was contact, somebody would have a five second penalty because it automatically dishes them out. As Matt drives past his brother, what did he do? Um, I don't know, I I didn't see I only saw his car literally going off the track. As Bama also retired, no... Uh, no penalty given there too, it's at the exit of the second lap, Tiago almost hitting that, wow we have uh, two people spinning uh, under safety as well. car, uh, Tiago has gone round as well, Bama's out, yeah. yeah Bama's out, Bama's out, outrageous, what is going on here, well we'll go back to, we'll, we'll try and absorb that in a minute, as Wisey yeah. Boy does a full Michael Schumacher and has them all the way backed up down the straight to, uh, toward the Parabolica, when is he going to release? We saw uh, the wizard releasing very early. Oh, uh, baby two wizard! Days ago. Did some amazing, amazing. He did, he did have good starts. He re he uh, he went very early and he actually got oh, he's going a very, gap. Very late. Yeah, he is waiting. He's going late and he has gone. There we go. But he's going to get a toe. They're going to get a toe. Although Rosa is right yeah, up behind they were, man. They were ready for it. I don't think Rosa's gonna pull. Oh, he does pull out. Uh, well, Rosa doesn't go for need the move. to risk it. Remember, Boschman's no. got a 10 second. Boschman runs. Boschman does a Rosberg at turn one, and that's gonna line up Rosa for turn two. Yes, it is. So there we go. Good enough exit. He no, didn't use the Rosa overtake. Still behind. It's Connell over to Jamie. Jamie right on the back of Connell. He's almost pushing him around the corner oh, to go side geez, by side into the double Roger. As Jamie gets ahead, not quite, oh, gets pushed onto the gravel, there he goes, there and now Arbar sneaking up over opportunities oh, down the did he get hit? the back of Connell, and I'll see if he got damaged there, one second, he did get uh, overtaken by Jamie Arbar and Racer because yeah, of that, he's lost 20% of his left front wing, Arbar, that's damaged Arbar, some wild corners there from Connell, has taken out two of his I think Arbar's Jamie. missing a left end plate by the looks of it. No, yeah, no, he's not. Yeah, 20% damage on that front left, yeah. Yeah, 20% damage. damage. I think left you left can, right. you should be able to do fine with 20% damage. Left, that's going to really struggle you both Lesmos. True, though. Wisey Boy and Boseman are fighting for P1 as, Wisey, as Boseman gets it. Rosa's now going uh, side by side with uh, Wisey Boy. He gets past already on the straight. No, he um, isn't gonna go for it by the looks of it. He does not indeed. Just stays behind as we Jason have Spurt going down the outside of Muzza. Oh, there and we go. Muzza's oh. caught the outside of Spud and Spud's out of the race, and that's surely a safety car on the exit of. Yeah, it is a safety car. So what, what actually well, happened there? Because that happened so Muzza. fast. I was uh, uh, I was looking Muzza at Spud. But was behind Spud. Spud got a bit leery on exit, and I don't think he quite realised how close Muzzer was behind him. He tried to sort of close off the track, but he got a uh, front wheel, a uh, front wheel left, a uh, rear wheel stuck to Muzzer, and he just went round. There was nothing really that could be done there. That's uh, that that's pretty unfortunate for both of them because Muzzer doesn't have a front wing either. He can still get back into the race. Just bidding, we're under safety car conditions, so he should be able to get back to the behind of this train. Will Wisey Box or will he stick it out and hope for another safety car and then go for softs later on? That's, that's a, what I yeah, that's do. If I were Wisey, I would stay out at this point, keep the track position, stay out of the drama that's going on behind us, um, and then come for softs a bit later on in the race. Let's see what he chooses see what he to does. do. He, he goes for the box. Boxes. What would you have done, interesting? Um, I don't know. He's on 10 level mediums. I think the mediums can go a bit further, but not that much. I think I would have done the same, if I'm honest. Just second safety car, just lost two damage. positions. All these guys need damage fixing. Yeah. Why is he boy going on to the hearts? Arbar on another set of mediums. We have uh, Tiago on another set of mediums, and Meza probably also going on another set of mediums. Mm. 
double stack for Alpha Tari, no. That that's uh, not going to... was only real option, I think, for going to the end was going on a set of hards at this point. He didn't start uh, the race the on the softs, so basically he could have maybe done a two-stop on the softs. Maybe if Did he got, if he got lucky with another safety car. True. But if he was banking on another safety car, I'd have stayed out on those mediums and gone for a soft at the next safety car. But True, we should see. He could be right, we could be wrong. With softs, you should be able to be faster than the rest of the field, don't you? And then you could maybe get P1 if he does, if he gets, if he I gets to P1. And then if YZ is now going to cycle back to medium. Oh, that could, be, the end of the race. that could be a good one actually, just changing onto a, a different strategy. changing onto a different set of tires so you got the mandatory uh you've got the mandatory pit stop of changing to a different tire and then just going back for the other one doing safety car You'd because you don't lose back, any time. Anyway. You would go to the back, but eventually if he gets back up to the pack, he hasn't lost any time. He's just at the back and of the he'd train. And he'd be on a faster tire, wouldn't he? Yeah, and oh, he is. He's, he's, he's cycle going onto the oh, mediums. What a strategy! So he's used his hard tire now, Wisey boy. And now he's um, going to go to the end on the mediums. Now he's back on the mediums, so he can run to the end. That's obviously so also a strategy. I think even I though it will drop him to four thirteenth and last, it's dropped him three positions from the tenth he was in, but he's gonna have a lot of more paid in time than he was. So a... Team Stumpy were two and a half laps under fueled yesterday. They two and a half laps banking banking on a safety car obviously. Um, I'm sure Titchies is uh, yeah, we well have. He, he, he checks in advance like I do. He will have known that you can get about 0 0.8, 0 0.9 laps of fuel back just from racing around Spa. Yeah. So he, uh, around Monza, sorry. So he would have uh, judged. I think he's clearly calculated there would be at least one safety car to get the fuel back. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, that didn't happen. So. Let me, I'm, I'm gonna ask you this question for my own races because I'm always, I actually never underfuel the car because I'm too scared of running out of fuel. But no, in EU4 there's most likely every race there's gonna be a safety car, so should I actually underfuel the car then? Well, it, it, in each race sometimes it burns fuel, so sometimes uh, like, uh, oh, where was it, we were at France, burns fuel. Um, so you need to overfuel your car. So um, that's why we saw like you two yesterday. Yeah. You need to uh, underfuel the car because it'll add on to it. But then you can underfuel the car even more uh, to account for a safety car. But then you're obviously running the risk of a safety car, which is quite risky in EU3 because we nearly went the whole of Baku without having a safety car. True. It's less risky in EU4 because we almost every time have a safety car. As uh, most fans go in very early. That's a good restart from Bozeman, yeah, he's got half a second on Rosa. The closest one though is Vapor King on the back of Connell on medium tyres. Um, just having a look at uh, Matty Robbo is absolutely sleeping over the line. A big gap there as Vapor King goes up the inside of Connell and he goes for a switchback, but I think he's lost a bit of his. They're still wing. side by side, oh, not anymore. They were side by side coming out of it. I don't see any damage on the first place, but I think yeah, Tass no, will... No damage. Tass says no damage too. Very leery, but both Ferraris running third and fourth. There's an Alpha in the lead, the Alpha needs to scamper away. As we have both Alpha Tauris fighting each other, Arbar and Maza. And Lewis, uh, Racer 001 has uh, quietly got himself up to P6. He's gonna be looking to overtake Vapor King on his hard tires, shouldn't be that big of a deal. Jamie 1S going for Jamie 1S. He's in 7, let's go get some points for that McLaren team. As he goes, he's gonna look to go down the outside, uh, inside, I'm sorry. And he does it. Is he gonna be able to it's make it stick? Tight line though, uh, I think he does get it. Get the well, on earlier, but Racer Jake gets ERS. Oh, J yeah, Jamie is ahead. 
Jamie's going to use that momentum to go after Vapor King on the hard tyres. It was critical yeah, for him he's to gonna get past. Yeah, he's going to go past that to around the outside, maybe. No, it doesn't get it quite yet. Yes, it goes down the inside of a second and corner. No, gets it back. No, as there he goes. Oh, and loses Jamie's the in the and wall. that's the other McLaren out of the race. We got no, no points McLaren's for us today. That could be a VSC, that one, to be fair. The uh, field's all packed up. Wait, who? It's all he was packed up away. and they can get rid of the car here. So, actually, did he spun himself because of his compromised exit or did Racer maybe touch him? That's, uh, that's a good question. A bit of there was a bit of a connection issue that I was having on my screen with Racer. Uh, yeah, so with Racer, exactly yeah, I saw... Yeah, on the safety car restart, I saw someone uh, going from left to right. Might have been a racer. I don't think it was a blue car. That's all I know. There we go. The marshals at the red finish came very quickly, tidied up that McLaren. Um, no safety car. As we have a train Ross behind him. Vapor King is forming a train behind him on his hard tires. Everyone will be looking to get past him because they're all getting held up by him on his hearts. He's actually making his car pretty. He's getting the elbows out, making it hard to get overtaken. He's got a lot more ERS available to him than Racer does, so he could just outdrag him into turn one, but the Racer's getting the slipstream from Vapor King, who's holding everyone up as we watch Fancy Tires around the outside. He watches patiently around the outside, and they're a bit respectful as Vapor King gets away. Vapor King's got quite a low top speed, but he's got very good traction. Yeah, but low top speed. Oh, as we have the leaders actually. Postman spun. He's Postman is And he's now dropped down to eighth place in front of his teammate. His teammate's gonna go down the outside of him. Is he still there? No, he's not. He just backed out and stick behind. So they all have DRS here. So Bosman now ends up in this train behind Vapor King on his hard tires. Uh, he will be looking to get back at the front of uh, the podium as it stands right now. Big points for Ferrari. Uh, Danny will be happy to see that. Definitely. Yeah. Big points for Ferrari. Two and a half seconds ahead for the podium and then almost two and a half seconds for Rosa to be two. And then these two Ferraris here are just casually driving their race. They're doing pretty well today. The Tifosi will be happy at Monza. Um, better than the last few weeks, that's what I'd say. Points have slowed up a little bit for Ferrari. Oh, as uh, we see Racer. goes around the outside. And he makes it. Yeah, he does. He gets the pass. Matty Robo is going to look to go down there. the inside. Yes, there we go. He gets it the position too. And he's got the run on race as well. Lewis goes defensive. Let's go down the outside. I got this beautiful helicopter view. The down the inside. inside. Oh, as what Vapor a move King. from Matty. Wow, oh, that was beautiful. Vapor King hits the back of uh, Racer. I don't think he has damage. It doesn't look like he has damage. Um, but he looked to be. He looked. It looked as if he hit the back of him pretty hard. Oh, oh man, he ran away. Get those ten seconds. As we have Muzza and Armar both going down the inside of Boseman at the second Lisbon. Well. There we go. Alpha Tari is not fighting each other too hard as we have yellow flags. That's oh, all. No. Be ben Ratcliffe. The second Alpha. Ben Ratcliffe has gone round and he's got uh, wing damage. Uh, wing damage. Uh, no, Boseman's it doesn't look got like wing it. damage actually. He's got right front wing damage, Boseman does. That's so not Boseman gonna too good. box. He does, both from boxes, can he get slowed down in time? He can, so he'll be going soft Why is he boy gets the position? Oh, both man pitted, so yeah, that's exactly why. As we have the two Alpha Taris, they want to get uh, maybe to the front of this train, see if they can pull a gap. Working together pretty well, one Arbor on 9 lap old mediums, one on 5 lap old mediums. As uh, we have a, what is it, 5 six car train here definitely 
Racer's not fallen off the back of Matty Robbo yet, but Racer's barely got any Arbor is, uh, at all. Arbor is falling on the back of uh, this train of his teammate. He's got down to one second as uh, uh, Ben Bush Ratcliffe has... Uh, uh, ben Ratcliffe again is round. He's probably yeah. overheated those tyres. I, I think so too. Um, so we have Tiago right on the back of Vapor King going through Ascari. Uh, gets the exit, gets a way better exit on his mediums, gets more traction than those hard tires. He doesn't pull out yet. Will he pull to the inside? No, he stays behind for the long right hand there, the last corner of the track to go for another lap. Maybe see if he can get it down the pit straight with the DRS. Yes, he does. Pulls out already, goes side by side, and he gets that move done. Not yet. They're gonna go side by side into the breaking zone. He's gonna go deep into the breaking zone. I think. No, he gives him the space. He's respectful there. Stays down the inside of Tiago, and there he goes. Gets the position, and that invites Maza, who also gets past. Now Arbar will be looking to get past Verbe King on his hearts to follow his teammate through. He's gonna stick behind for now. Vapor King gets that 3 second time penalty. As Ben Ratcliffe, I think he just retired on track, looks like it. I will have a look, he might have some damage. There's a full safety car. Oh no, he hasn't retired on track, he's in the wall. He's crashed, turn yeah, two. so... What he will be interesting went, yes. will be if... Uh, because Rosso was actually burning his tyres up a lot more. Yeah, than people Jace might go to, uh, to the softs now. Boseman, who just pitted from the softs, I don't think he will benefit from this. Will he? Will he be able to jump some people in the pits? I mean, let's okay. Let's say the Alpines and the Alphataris double stack. Then he might be able to do that. If I were Boseman, I would pit again for a fresher. Rosa stays stack. out. Rosa staying out. I think that's a mistake. Does he think that track see. position is more important than fresh tires at this stage? Uh, I think he did. I don't think he realised that everyone else would is pit. going to fly so past him. So all of a sudden, because all of a sudden, yes. track position goes from being useful. If he had some more medium and hard runners behind him, it would have been fine. I think. But now that everybody has boxed, effectively the man who was P2 behind him is still going to be P2, except now he's on fresh softs. Mm -hmm. As a postman um, does jump a few people, the three teams who double stacked. Racer up to third. Yep. He's uh, doing pretty Connell's well. lost out from having to stack behind his teammate. Matty Robo into fourth. That's uh, pretty nice. Postman. Is back up to eighth. He managed to get ahead of a couple of people, so that's good from him. Tiago, so I think. Be all bunched up again. Tiago opted think to go for the mediums. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's he didn't have any left. Yeah, maybe he didn't. But his mediums also already on five laps, uh, so already five laps. So they, three those were or used four to. people done the same as Rosa. That would have been the right call, but uh, because everyone pitted behind him, it's sort of a, a Lewis Hamilton Hungary situation, mm -hmm. where he's suddenly now the only man on the wrong tyres, and everyone yeah. behind him especially is, is going to be hunting him down on softs, and they're right behind him now. Yeah, so especially now that his stop. mediums are on 11 lap holds already. I mean, I think he Definitely. made the wrong choice here, going for track position. Is he going to pit now? No, he stays. Oh no, no, he stays out. That he has to commit to it. Yeah, he has true. To commit to it it would be dumb to pit now because, well, I mean, dumb is about. It's not the right word, but it wouldn't be a great option to do that because you'll be right down in eleventh on fresh softs, just as the rest of the field. So it would all be equal, and that ha would make it harder to overtake too. How long I think it's going to be the last lap. I think it's going to be in this lap, yeah. As everyone's now catching up to the field. As we have our Alpha Tari boys being split to get us being uh, split by three cars now. But 
It's Diag actually quite a mix, to be honest, isn't it? Of yeah. different constructors. I mean, mm -hmm. all the way Definitely. down to eight. We have eight different constructors in the top eight. <laughs> yeah, and then the last three were the people who double stacked in the pits. So they lost out to Postman. Um, but coming back on Thiago's situation with the mediums, he opted for mediums because he probably didn't have softs left, but his mediums were also already used because he's come out of the pits with five lap old mediums. Well, we're gonna have a seven lap race. Seven laps Five. sprint to the end. Seven laps, can you call that a sprint? I mean, if they, I mean, they're probably Spread not qualifying. gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they're probably not gonna pit again. So, unless they have damage or another safety car, which I doubt there will be another one. So anyone who can make it to, anyone who can start lap 24 will be classified. So they are down to 11 runners, but you do. Rosa need to has make to get to a great ex uh, great exit. As he goes very early into the he last goes for the corner, wizard, he goes for the and, and he does well. get it. He's almost one second up ahead. Uh, one and second Racer ahead. is all behind Jayzak as he moves for P2 ahead of the Ferrari. This will be an unpopular overtake for the Tifosi. Definitely, no, he doesn't breaks get it. a lot later. Oh, what? oh no, oh. it's a good. Oh, oh, he's a, oh we he's don't a, know where yeah. he is on the track. Yeah, he was yeah. Uh, that was a uh, uh, racer. And then he gets spun out of nowhere. I would have had no idea so. where he'd be spinning him. He'd have no idea he'd touched him. Yeah, that's uh, pretty unfortunate for both actually, because I don't think Jessac wanted to do that. But it's hard to it's hard to avoid that when, if you don't know he's there. Where the other car is definitely. So Rosa running away at the front. Matty Robbo with a 10-second penalty is running in third. He won't want any more safety cars. He'll want to escape from the people behind him. Maybe uh, the doing JSAC's doing pretty good. They had a big gap down to uh, people oh, as he gets another, another three seconds. seconds. Uh, they had a big gap down to P4, both Ferraris and Rosa. So if Matt Yerba can stick onto the back of JSAC, he might be able to pull a little gap, but I don't think it will be enough. Rosa, the, Rosa on the other hand, had. Yeah, but Rosa on the other hand had a pretty good restart. He's been on a gap of a second for almost this whole lap. Matty Robert says the fastest lap of the race gets beaten by Bosman. Oh, he's going for it. Go on. Down the inside of the Ferrari. Do it. Through the Retifinia. He's trying it. He's trying space. it. As he goes wide and then has to concede. He's still got the gap to the car behind him. Backwards, he's just looking ahead as this is all helping Rosa on his medium pass. Maybe it wasn't the same as As we have uh, a Vapor King going down the inside of Thiago, now the outside gets the move done. And that invites Musa, who also gets that move done. Musa's done a lot of opportunistic overtaking today. Yeah. I have to see it most was also been... going up the inside Ooh, of the Mercedes. Thiago's dropping like a fly here. He's losing positions to everyone on the seven lap old mediums, everyone's on their fresh softs. We won't have the DRS active at this lap. But JSAC has not had the pace because he's been fighting with Williams to catch up to Rosa, although he's gained two tenths in the front in through the Ascari chicane. Rosa see. is driving a blinder, this reminds me of Hamilton duking it out with uh, Rosberg on slower tyres and still managing to make it work at Bahrain 2014. Uh, we do have actually Racer, Arbor and Vapor King and Matty Robo on 3 seconds of penalties as we see Cobble maybe trying to go for a move down the outside of Thiago. Yes he is going side by side. Gets Robert goes for the outside this time which turns into the inside and he gets the move done. As Connell gets, gets the outside of turn 1 then the inside of turn 2 pushes Thiago wide and that invites Arbar now who's also going to try down the outside on his softs. He should get that done more grip and he's going to go down the inside, the inside of Connell. No, he doesn't. He just going to stick behind, and uh, he oh, gets spun by Tiago. That moves Racer up two places. Arbar still ahead. No damage. It I think. hasn't. It hasn't damaged Arbar though. Connell has got some ha damage though, as does Wisey Boy. But has it damaged Tiago? That touch with Arbar. No, Tiago's fine. Tiago's fine. So is Arbar. Um, 
1.3 seconds the lead between Mali Robbo and Rosso, although Mali Robbo is sitting on 13 seconds. Boseman and, and Vapor King both on the back of JSAC, very close together. Boseman also on 10 seconds. Vapor King that. pulls out, doesn't go for it. Yeah, Matty Rowe's 10 penalty, 10 second penalty has turned into a 13 second penalty right now. Uh, he's not really happy with that. As uh, Vapor King is trying to go do it on the straight, he's gonna maybe try outbreak him. Yes, he does. Goes down the outside and gets it done. Let's see, inside for turn two. It wasn't really oh, necessary. He slides one eye. He slides Jason one. Connell. It's Connell. He's now. Uh, who is it? Jaysack, I think. He's now under attack of Vapor King. And there he goes. Gets past now. Meza will be looking to get past that. He wants that fifth position. That's more points for him. Really remember he's within a second now of Rosa to so get the DRS down the back straight towards the Scari. Got a lot more ARS. Matic could win this race on track and lose out massively with his task penalties. As uh, Arbar overtakes Connell going into Ascari. It's a ballsy move. That's not the place where I would do an overtake. As you're going on to lap 25. Three more laps to go. Oh, Matty Robo gets fastest lap. He's right on the back of Rosa. He's gonna pull out. Gets it done before the braking zone. Yes, he does. And there we go. Breaks it. Goes turn one into P1. Uh, with three laps to go. Is he gonna be able to build a gap? What do you think? Very interesting. Let's see what happens. There are still cars pretty close together, but no one trying to go for anything now. Oh, there, I think, that's, I think that's Vapor King. Vapor. Yeah, it is. He has lost it. And now it slots in at the back in P10. He'll still get one point. So, Maddy Robbo has three laps, two and a half laps to make a 10 second lead over Rosa to keep this win. Go on. I believe. Oh, that's Arbar. Wait, what? Okay. Arbar seemed to go down the inside of Adaskari, but I then the problem is didn't. the connection to yeah. race series sort of bouncing all over the place. I'm trying yeah, to that's why. at it because it makes me a bit nauseous. Boseman now also on the back of Rosa. Not close enough to make that move, I think. No, he doesn't. Not even close on the helicopter view, he doesn't even see Rosa. Now he's there, slots in. This is the three way battle for the lead. There, uh, Chase Hack, one and a half seconds behind that. Two more laps to go. As Connell lost out to Tiago on turn two. Maza very close to the back of Chase Hack going into the Della Roger. Why is the boy sets the fastest lap? Doesn't get that one point because he's in 11th. Como gets, gets back seven. past Thiago at Della Roger. Now going into the second Lesbos. Thiago hits the back of Como very soft. Postman all over the back of Rosa. Looking to take the position on track. He's got that 10 seconds he's there. Does it? Goes down the inside. Him go. So Boseman also has a 10 second penalty for the well, Taz infringement. Uh, so. so, yeah, they're not be. So this is why you've got to pay attention to the rules. Yeah. It's a shame, but Which it's the I same would for everybody. I'm pretty surprised that Matty Robo isn't doing that, but sure. As we have uh, Vapor King now overtaking Como. Come on, losing out to everyone. his way up to fifth, but this could be a, a podium for him, of course, because yeah. the two guys in front on big penalties, and Ross has got three seconds as well, and he's Vapor only gets past Thiago two seconds down behind. Front straight. So this this battle between Jay Sack and Muzza is the battle for the win as it stands. 
Because yes, has it is seconds because Rosa has notice. two seconds. Yes, and Arbar is two seconds behind Musa, so he might get P4 then with my Robo and Boseman. Uh, Racer is gonna jump them too, probably. So I think Boseman and my Robo will get P7 and P6. I don't think Vapor King is close enough. As uh, we're almost, the race is almost coming to a close. We're going through Ascari. Uh, Go on, Mazza. Oh, Racer. oh, he doesn't get the exit. Racer is he looking needed. to get past Arbar. But, oh, is he going to make it? He doesn't have any ERS left. I don't think he's going to make it. Let's see. Matty Robo wins the race on track, probably. Yes, he does. One second lead over Boseman. He does win the race on track. He doesn't win the race in the end. Boseman gets P1 on track. Matty Robo gets Chase second. Chase Sack gets will third. Take the lead on penalties. Chase Sack wins the Grand Prix on penalties. Musa second and Rosa in fifth gets actually third because of Matty Robo and Boseman's 10 second penalty for their task infringement. Yep, Alba fourth. Good race for Alpha Tauri. Definitely, there uh, they'll have some. Uh, they'll have some good points uh, in the back. Boastman finishes in seventh. Six. Maddie Robbo will get down, and Maddie Robbo will drop all the way to eighth, I believe. So, which is a shame for him. If you wouldn't mind to invite our lovely podium. People. Yeah, we'll get the podium people in. Well done, Mazza. Driver okay, of the day. Sack, Mazza and Rosa. Mazza yeah, definitely we'll deserved that driver of the day. He made a lot of overtakes. Uh, very opportunistic, some of them. Uh, manages to get uh, P2, I think it is. Because there's your podium for the on track wins, but the top two will get boosted down because of their 10 second penalty for the TAS infringement. So this is not your podium. It's the same for everyone and unfortunately they've come a cropper. Mm -hmm. So uh, Boseman and Matt Iroba get 1 and 2 on track but they won't stay there. I think Jaysak has won the race. P1, yeah. Moza gets 2nd, Rosa gets 3rd. Uh, Arbar gets fourth, Racer gets seventh. I think Boseman and Matty Robo get a uh, uh, Racer gets fifth. I think Boseman and Matty Robo get sixth and seventh. They, yeah. uh, I think Matty Robo gets eighth and Tiago gets seventh. Yeah, sixth, sixth for Boseman, Tiago for seventh, Matty uh, for eighth. Eight. We're all Vapor doing maths ninth. now. We're all experts. Yeah, we're all doing maths, but we got through them. Vapor King ninth, and all the other positions stays the same. Connell in tenth, YZ Boy in eleventh, and then you not finishers who are Ben Ratcliffe, Jamie one, Spud Bama, Dan Robo, J Prentice, and NSX Yorno. Round us out. So we're just waiting for our podium guys to uh, to join the lobby. I'll get that winning car got set Mazza up. In. We got Jaysack in. Wait, we got Mazain too. He hasn't joined on my screen. Oh no, no, he hasn't said he's not joined yet. He's uh, he's on his way. Tifosi will be very happy with that window. They will be very happy with a Ferrari win. The Jaysack. Yeah, we're just waiting for the others to go. Make sure your audio can be shared. Okay. Fabulous. I'm um, just waiting for the other guys to, to come in. We're I think we're waiting for Muzza and, Rosa and uh, Muzza. Rosa, Rosa and Muzza. Rosa no, got no, third last week Mark. too. Um, Big two. Yeah, but they had a uh, 10 second penalty for the TAS infringement, so they actually get dropped yeah, down so to 6 and you, 8. You actually won, JSAC. Yeah, you won. What? You won. So uh, uh, the two people in the lead, really? Matty and, and uh, Boschman, both get a 10 second penalty for not setting up their TAS properly. Oh my god! So you <laughs> won for Ferrari in Italy. 
Well done. Oh God. <laughs> well done indeed. You, you and Muzzo were happy. fighting for the were fighting for the, for the win on the last lap, and then he got a bad I, I exit was... out of Ascari, and you were away. <laughs> yeah, I was thought I was fighting back for the for P two, and I saw like P three at the end. And I'm like, mm. oh. oh my God, yeah. this is ah. Lovely. We're just waiting for the others, so hopefully the others come in. Um... Yeah, if not, we'll start the interview with Jaysak, who seems to be lost for yeah, words after he's getting word lost of his for words. Win. Yeah. <laughs> of course I am. I mean, I, I won without even knowing. Very unexpected. <laughs> and so, they yeah, don't seem uh, to be joining. Matt's just realizing, no, Maz has not joined yet. I'll see if I can get him in. I don't think they know the uh, other two had a 10 second penalty, so I think they just don't have an interview to do. No, I will uh, I'll see if Maz Maybe is we there. should inform them of their podium positions. I am. If they're in the Discord. Yeah. I've, uh, I've messaged him on there. But we can start with Jay Sack. Yeah, Let's ask our surprise, surprised winner. Some yeah. questions. Yeah, <laughs> really surprised, to be honest with you, yeah. You wanna ask him some questions, Wizard, or...? Yeah, we can do, if you try and get a hold of Mazza and Rosa. They've been invited, but uh, we'll see if we okay. can join in. So, Jaysak, um, how does it feel to win for Ferrari at Monza? I mean, it's kind of bittersweet, to be honest, because it was all race long, me and Connell, for a double podium, you know, double the pleasure. I want him to be here with me, our home race. Just the safety car came at the wrong time. We were we were really close, and he got held up by the Alpha Tauris at the pits. I mean, it's an awesome feeling winning. I didn't even know. Yeah, I was having a goal this season after two missed podiums at the at the start of the season of, of me spinning, and I was like, okay, I need to get at least one podium, and I'm just here at the top. Yeah, you had to double stack at the last uh, uh, safety car, didn't you? You were running running high. Yeah, uh, which saddle. unfortunately didn't work out for Connor, and then he got caught up in the traffic there, which was a bit a bit dangerous for a while. It's, it's also it's also the game. It's also the game that doesn't help. Last year, if you, if you had like these seven seconds, which uh, he left space for, I think we could do a double stack. Also, I want to say sorry to Racer. I don't know what happened. I just see a ghost of him in front of me spinning. Yeah, I he was he was glitching around quite a bit there. We'll have to look into Racer's connection because he what you, you'd done a great move on him, and then all of a sudden isn't... he appeared out of nowhere across you. So yeah, we think it was yeah. a connection issue. But yeah, isn't, I, isn't I, he a uh, is it he a reserve from the AM tier? So that might be part of the problem. Racer. No, he's uh, no, is I think he's EU tier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I think the, the arrow was match. white. I thought I thought I had the the line, the racing line. And I just suddenly yeah. see a spinning ghost of him. Yeah, no, definitely on our uh, on our POV it was uh, the same thing. He just he was behind you, and then somehow he just popped up in front of you. I mean, it's sad for for a game like that to you know still have problems. We can't even properly race. But I had a great time with Mati. I shall say, I gave him some of his own medicine. To be honest, does does. Love taps we had. Seems uh, yeah, it seems like you had a lot of fun though. I did, I did have a lot of fun. Uh, but Rosa and Muddy were just actually everyone was quicker on me in the straight. Uh, I got it up at the last safety car, but <laughs> it's all good <laughs> at the end of the day. Fantastic. Uh, our third place man, Rosa, who would have won had he not got a three second penalty for corner cutting. Um, so, but you still kept the podium because of uh, Boseman and Matty Robbo's TAS infringement. So, are you happy with uh, picking up third place, Rosa? Uh, yeah. I uh, I think with my tyre situation, I'm very happy with that. There we go. Um, Aye, lad. Sorry, sorry about that. Oh, here he is. Mazza's in. We'll finish <laughs> with Rosa. We'll finish with Rosa. Yeah. Um, so you obviously on track. Your pace was fantastic. Um, you were doing really well there, but then ultimately that late safety car bunched everyone up again and you got your three second penalty which cost you the uh, the win in the end because the Muzzer and Jay sat behind you were uh, clean yeah um, yeah they just they just died off the last few few laps I thought I, I, was, I, was, I didn't know if uh, everyone was going to pick because uh, I believe the Ferraris are very close together so I didn't know if they were going to risk it um, mm. we were so saying I, we I thought, thought maybe you were going to go for trap position but then everybody boxed yeah 
And then I was watching my Delta as I was going round, and I was just watching the the grid position where it says rejoin, go from second all the way to like ninth. I was like, oh, oh. No. Um, but yeah, the first half of that race was quality. I loved it. But very nervous. You held up really well on the old mediums at the end, to be brutally honest. I mean, obviously a couple of people got past you, but obviously while they were fighting, you <coughs> gained yourself a sort of second and a half advantage, which helped you for a couple of laps. But obviously in the end, I'm guessing you just you couldn't compete with the, the, the fresh softs coming at you from behind. Uh, yeah, no, I um, I think I got a good restart. You did. But then after, loved your restart. After, yeah, <laughs> after that, I, I I thought I had I pretty much had no chance. I saw, I think Matty got past someone before getting to me. But yeah, <clears> soon <throat> as coming out of Scary, the grip the grip on them tires, I had no hope really. So, um, it was interesting, I guess, for you guys. But yeah, no, I was crying inside. <laughs> 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 but either way you got 15 points so uh, well done to you yeah um, I'll say that we that. shall move on to Muzza who might have won this race had he not got a bad exit from Ascari on the last oh. one <laughs> right I honestly <laughs> do not give a beep oh nah to be fair like my I went I was had a bit of an issue at the start, couldn't get into qualifying, so when I eventually got in I think there was six and a half minutes, so I just I was so kind of on edge trying to rush and settle off. I had two incidents on the Scary both times, so I started at the back and I just said to Raba, I said, Look, I just need to keep it on track. There will be incidents, there will be penalties. Um and like I think every lap I went on Ascari I was like just pussy footed around it every single time. Um, and I, I didn't think, I thought to myself, look, I, I could potentially get the win. And Because uh, I had um, our engineer, Andy Wu, and he was kind of like, look, you know, you're within three seconds, you, you know, you're going to get on the podium, you know, and then if it, it, it turned to a win. And I was like, wow. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't want to risk losing a whole race by pushing too hard in a scary just to keep within them seconds. I would happily take a podium. I would have, I would have happily, happily finished tenth to be fair, just to get off the zero marker on the standings. <laughs> I said at the start of the race, just get me a point. So look, um, I enjoyed the race. It was very sweaty um, for me, um, and I feel like it was probably the most careful race I've ever driven. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm l unlucky, Rosa as well, pal. And Shane and I noticed many times during the race that you and Arba were working very closely together, very well. Uh, through the field, which was uh, which was good to see for the Alpha Towers. Yeah, well, I think um, you know, obviously, I was I was kind of with you, you and Dan yesterday, and um, you know, it, it, if you've got a teammate like that, it makes sense to do so. If you start fighting each other, you're going to run the risk of one of you DNF and our both, or just losing time to the guys. In front. I think Arba made a mistake at the second chicane. You'll have to forgive my knowledge of um, track corners and names, so. <laughs> the second chicane, he had a bit of a bump over the curb, so I kind of went beyond him, and then it was just a case of just managing between us, you know, I'm using hers, I'm not using hers, this, that, and the other. And we just, yeah, we kept it tight, you know, so it worked well, you know, so both got decent points at the end of it. It was nice to see it the other way around, actually. It's usually me towards the back end and I'm about at the top end. It's actually nice to see a roll reverse this week. I don't think we'll see it too often, but um, I'll take it when I can get it, yeah. 18 points in Monza. There you go. I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> ever. Magical. And you lost yeah. to a Ferrari, so, I mean, it, it was meant to be, yeah. obviously. Yeah, you know what, you can't have it always up, can you? <laughs> but it was, it was a good race, and like I say, it's um, some really good racing out there, some really close driving and, yeah, close battles. It was just, from everyone, it was really good. Enjoyed it. Anything to add, Shane? Uh, no, uh, the only thing I would be uh, able to add is like, we're going to Canada next week, so how are you guys <gasps> looking at that? For me personally, um, <laughs> I think you probably hear this from me every single track, but it is a bad track for me, Canada. I I will pick up penalties, and so again, I think it's just going to be a case of damage limitation, the will you know, people will get damaged. There probably will be safety cars of ESC. So for me, I think it's going to be a case of just qualify wherever I can. You know, just go for it. If I end up last, or I end up in the top ten, whichever's you know great. Just keep me head down and just try and do something similar today. Just race my own race. Don't worry about the guys behind me. Some quicker guys behind me. Their Boltzmann at one point was massively quicker than me. I thought I'm not battling it. Let you go. 
Um, and again, for me, that's what I'm going to do next week. Fantastic. Sounds JSAP, good. congratulations again. You're looking forward to Canada? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's actually my favorite track, so... I'm betting actually over 10 spins at the race for everyone. <laughs> Those curves are this year are actually awful. You can't even touch them. So imagine Canada bad. when last year you had to cut the chicane to get time. Especially in the tier where we can find a tenth just by cutting a bit of a corner. It's going to be really tricky. Everyone's going to get a penalty, as Musa said. But it's my favorite track. I want to have a good race like I did last year do some double overtakes and stuff and hopefully get that Ferrari at the top again. I mean, this is for the Tifosi out there. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I'd love to see it. And uh, Ros, are you looking forward to Canada? Uh, I think Moza must have read my mind as he said what he said because I'm the exact same. Canada's probably my worst track. Uh, I, hold, I have to hold the controller a different way because of the <laughs> chicanes. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, you have to send me that over, Rosa. Just, just send me a picture of how you hold it. I might have to use it myself. Sideways. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, Upside it's, down. It's, it's my foot. It's my uh, left thumb. I, I change how I hold the controller on that for some reason. But yeah, no, it will be a a weird race. I, I'm better following people at the minute, so hopefully I can just do what I do and see how it goes. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. There we go. Well, we'll be back for sit uh, AM1 tonight. Yeah. And round the, round the U1 tomorrow, if I'm not wrong. And U1 tomorrow, the super, super speedy boys. Yes. No ABS. There I don't know go. how they do it, but sure. Because they're crazy. Yeah. I'll we'll beat Steve next week again. Yeah. Probably should be. He hasn't notified us, but... Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next week.